No, no. Oh, man. I don't authorize that. You ever heard of the First Amendment? It's not going to stay on your phone. You ever heard of the First Amendment? Have a good day. You ever heard of the First Have Amendment? Hey, man, you ever heard of the First Amendment? Come here, bro. Come here, dog. <laughs> People funny, man. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man. Hey, bro, what's going on, man? Hey, uh, you believe in the Bible a little bit? Come here, man. What up, bro? You believe in the Bible a little bit, don't you? I'm trying to get a comment. Yeah. You, you believe in the Bible a little bit, don't you? Let me ask you about Jesus real quick. Huh? You scared of Jesus, man? You should be. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? Nobody want to talk to a brother, man. Hey, what's up, man? What up, y'all? That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, look at my boy over there. He bugged out. I was talking about the the so in my other videos, y'all previous videos. The so I see how that brother is. People bugging out, man. Now you gonna see more bugged out people. Watch, demon possessed people. Just like in uh, ancient days, Jesus said, "This time of Noah, when he comes back, it'll be like the time of Noah. People was fully possessed with demons and stuff. And uh, so that's why you gotta give your." Heart, whole heart and soul to Jesus because them demons can possess you out and bug you out like that only Christ is the power to cast out demons man right and give you what a sound mind you give us power love and a sound mind hey what y'all know about the Bible man what up bro what you know about the Bible man Quick, 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 quick word. Quick word. Give me, give me five minutes. And, uh, Black Power, y'all. That's what's up. What you know about the Bible, man? I think Jesus is black. I don't think he was white. Come here a minute. I got, I, I'm a, come here. I got to ask you something. What's up, bro? What you know about the Bible, man? Hey man, I got a question for you about that. Uh, what kind of power are you getting from that, man? There's only one holy power, that's Jesus Christ. You're getting demonic power, bro. Demonic energy with those uh, stones. He had a stone on his neck. Charms, you know those charms and stuff like that. What y'all know about the Bible, man? Anybody know about the Bible? Know about the Bible? Come here, man. What's up, black man? You. No, Jesus love you, right? Jesus love you, bro. Come learn the secrets so you can walk in the power. Hey, man. What you know about the Bible, man? Come here, man. What you know about the Bible, man? You're like a Bible student. You're a Bible student? No, I'm not. Can a man live holy like Jesus in the earth? Can a man live like Jesus? Do, do you live like Jesus? You a sinner? You a sinner? Are you a sinner? You a saint? 
That's what. What are you? Atheist? You atheist? As Gnostic? You don't believe in Jesus? I do. Um, you do? Not, uh, you know he's going to judge you, right? He's going to judge the earth, right? All right. Like, don't that make you scared and afraid that he's going to judge? Huh? No. You should be afraid. Hell, hell's an awful place. The, the lake of fire is an awful place. Hell is an awful place. You should be afraid. Huh? We have a long drive today. There's no sir. escape in Jesus' hand. Sir, we have a very you can't long escape drive. judgment. You can't escape the long arm of the Lord. You can run, but you can't hide. What you know about the Bible, man? Hey, what y'all know about the Bible? You know anything about the Bible? Hey, hey! What you know about the Bible, man? You know anything about the Bible? Come talk to me. What's up, sisters? Come here a minute. <laughs> man. You seem like you was the only cool one, though. I gotta tell you that. What? You seem like you was the only cool one that was up. Oh, well, thank I can you. tell. I can read your I spirit. You know? Thank you. Y'all check out the first video. Y'all see that with her? Check out the first video. Y'all see why I did that? I could tell she was. You know, some Edomites are servants, man. They ready to be servants. She ready to be a servant. What's up, bro? Black Power. And uh, so I ain't gonna be as hard as as the ones that's willing to be a servant, that's ready. You can kind of discern that. I don't be as hard as, on them as I am on these uh these more prideful ones. Y'all check out that first video with her. And uh, the abortionist. I forgot what I titled it. And y'all uh, subscribe to all my channels, especially, uh, what is it, uh, Israelites in Christ. That's the one with the less subscribers. I'll probably be putting up more videos on that one. YouTube likes to to uh, put me on punishment for two weeks and all that kind of stuff. So, Hey, man, come holler at me. I got a question for you. Got some charms on it, man. Like fire, man. You? You? How you been? I'm trying to wake our people up to these scriptures, man. You know, it's like nobody caring, man. It said in the Bible, like the Hebrew is like they ate, they drank, and they rose up to play. Everybody want to play. They're not taking the rest of your people with. life serious, you know. I ain't with them dudes, man. I ain't with no camp. Because I believe there's only one camp. That's the kingdom of God. Either we in that with, with Christ Jesus. They went a different way. Or we are, we are out. Uh, I ain't here with them dudes, man. They, I mean, they do different things. But like I said, they not rolling with Jesus. I, 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 I exalt Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. They don't even like the name Jesus. How about you? I believe in Jesus. I'm a child of God. Right. Baptized in love. Holy Ghost? Yeah, yeah. Are you a sinner still? You still a sinner? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you and say that I don't lust for women. Right. I do. How do you how do you uh, overcome that though? Do you yield to it? You got any girlfriends? I listen or? to music. Do you still have you still having sex with your body though? Ah, uh, you know, you already know that. I but gotta see, get that's my, wrong. I gotta get my. Uh, no, that that gotta, makes you a fornicator. I mean, I don't I don't fuck every girl that I that I be with. Yeah. But like, I all it takes is one. Lately, I haven't been fucking all my. Friends. <laughs> all it takes is one though. I don't I don't fuck <laughs> all my female friends. All it takes is one though. That makes you a fornicator. But if they want, but if they want to, nine, but if they want to, no, but if they want to, no fornicators should enter to the kingdom. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Ain't gonna, I ain't gonna turn you down. Now, one of those right there. One of those right there. That's what I mean, my people not taking the scriptures seriously. One of those right there. What about hell, though? What about hell? One of those over there. What about God's wrath? What about the wrath of God? Shit, ain't nobody perfect. You know, I believe sin. in God and you I'm. Can, I'm you can be perfect in Christ. I'm perfect in, in Christ. I'm through Christ. Nobody's Christ perfect. Christ is my life. Huh? Nobody is perfect. You believe the Bible? 
We are uh, we're we're read to you. Let me read something to you real quick. Uh, you believe all the Bible, right? Yeah, I do. I do. I believe in God. But you know, Matthew 5, 48 says, be ye perfect. We are made in his image. Even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. I am an angel. I believe that. True that. I got that. But there's fallen I'm angels I'm a warrior. Too. There's, there's wicked angels too. I'm a warrior angel though. But there's, wicked there's warrior wicked angels. Satan got a host of uh, angels, but they wicked. They on the left hand side. I so wicked. if you're sinning, guess what? You a Satan angel. You a soldier oh, for not. Satan. Oh, I'm not. If you in sin, you let me read something to you real quick before you before you roll off. I can't agree with you. Luke six forty. Watch this. So you can't, but you can agree with the words, though, right? With I can the Bible. agree with the word, but I can't agree with the, the second demons and all that. The angel, no. All right. I believe that. Jesus Christ, warrior. I know what it's like to pass away. I passed Check away, God came back. I Luke. beat death so many times. King, death can't fuck King, with me, bro. King James Bible, Luke six forty. Death can't fuck it. with me, bro. It says the disciples not above his master. But everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. That's Luke 640. Everyone that's perfect shall yeah. be as his master. Okay? Right. The words are in red. Yeah. So that's Jesus. Yeah. He wants us to be perfect as he is perfect. He wants us to be equal with him. You know, yeah. you know that? Yeah. But if you practice a sin, I'm gonna show you this. If you practice a sin, you're in trouble. I feel good. Do you? <laughs> nah. nah, I was like, right. let me get out of here though. Uh, let me show you one more. Real, 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 real. I got you. Let me show you one more before you found. This is a first John 3 8. It says, He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Oops. Back to verse 8. <laughs> Verse 9 says, Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed, the Holy Ghost, remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. And this the children are, of God are made manifest, and the children of the devil. The children of the devil committing sin. The children of God don't commit sin. Okay? Uh, whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. When you sin and you don't love Jesus. That's your brother. When you commit sin, you don't love him. What do you pray to? Jesus. You believe in Jesus. Jesus is my God. You believe that He's the Omega. He's, he's the Creator of heaven, earth. Right. And all all the power. Mammals. All power. Jesus has all power in heaven and earth. That's Matthew 28, verse uh, 18. You believe that He created us in His image. Right. No evil well, well, well you have to be born again to be in his image. You have to be born again of the believe, water and the spirit. Do you believe that no evil can cross this threshold? Right. No evil can cross this fucking threshold. Excuse my okay. can't get, can't no get through the blood of Jesus. This right. 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 No evil can cross this threshold. Right. It's a force field. It's a force field. Nobody can touch this threshold. Healing. Self-healing. It's all about the blood of Jesus. All about the blood of Jesus. He's, he's drinking that stuff, y'all. Drinking that stuff. Anyway. What up, y'all? Black Power, man. What y'all know about that Bible, man? Y'all rolling with the Black Messiah, Jesus Christ? Y'all rolling with the Black Messiah? Or y'all y'all into something else? Y'all into Christ? The Bible? Can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, man. How you doing, Good, man? man? What's I walk, up? I walked by you and I think yeah. you asked me. Let's, let's uh -huh. do that for a second, okay? Yeah. Just ask you a question. Yeah, it's all good. If Jesus is a black man, what does it change? What is, first of all, you believe Jesus is a black man, right? 
Yeah. That's in the Bible. So what does that change about Jesus? His skin color. Well, can we agree that uh, the black man is the most hated on the planet in the earth? Can we agree with that? I mean, I can say that it, it's a, been a tough road. Things are a lot different now. It's getting a lot better. But besides that, well, Christ was crucified. He that He's shown us that's the image of the black man in the earth. Where, where is that we're, we're, where we're do persecuted. See, where do you see that in the Bible? We're persecuted more than any okay, other people. Okay, but you're out here promoting Jesus as a black man, and right. I get it. I think it's great. Right. But at the end. If he is a black man on the cross, Jesus was black on the cross. What does that change, whether he's white or if he's Jewish and white and dark skin? What does it have to do with his skin color? If he died for all mankind, regardless of your skin color, I got you. why why does it matter to you? First John chapter four, verse one says, Believe not every spirit, for many false prophets are coming to the world. It says uh, can we, every can we not film me? Is it's that okay? A, it says every. I, it's for my protection. I know, but I'm. First of all, I'm protecting my myself because when I walked by, I said, "In case you use this online." I said, "I just had I, a dude. I, I, police I, just came to me. A dude told them I hit him, and I record everything. And okay. I'm glad I had my camera okay. rolling." But if you post that, I said to you when I walked by, I said, "I don't think Jesus was a black man, but I don't think he was a white man." So the disclaimer says, "I'm not a racist." Okay. Right. So, I, I having you, said that, I just don't want to be portrayed as, yeah, you know, yeah, you use yeah, a little yeah, clip they hear you, like, they hear you. so I want to just have a serious talk about, right. even if he's black or if he's white. Can I finish my verse? Sure, sure, sure. It says John, that every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh, this spirit is of God. Yeah. Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is not of God. He's Antichrist. Yeah, every anti spirit, he's, right. First John says, those who believe in Christ are Antichrist. Crazy loud, man. So, so we're on the same page. Right. I got a feeling we both can. Well, I'm telling you why I'm. T I, I understand about the, about the color I, because there's different kinds of flesh. Because you and me don't have the same flesh. Right, but that right. doesn't change. You don't have it. the same flesh as bird. Do you? Do you? Do you love me, Cal? No, I don't. You, you I'm gonna don't, be honest. Why don't you love me? Romans 9:13. God said He loves Jacob and He hates Esau. You come from Esau, and I'm of Jacob. But that's not about skin color. Okay, we're about faith. Right? Jesus Christ as our Savior. Is Jesus Christ your Savior? Genesis 25. Is Jesus Christ your Savior? Esau's skin color is mentioned in well, Genesis 25. I'm sorry that you would say that you hate me because my skin is white, but I don't hate God you. God hates you. What's that? God hates you. You, God hates me because I'm white. Because you're an Edomite and you happen to be white. So then who can be saved? Jacob. Who, so who only become, black people. Become, Jacob who becomes Israel. What color was Jacob? And Israel who what becomes Christ. What color was Christ. Jacob? He's a nigga. He's not. He's he's Jewish. Acts thirteen. But he, verse one says he's it. a nigger. The if, niggers. First, you shouldn't be saying that word. It's in the Bible. You Let me just read it. I can show you. It's in the Bible. Well, you're reading a different Bible than I'm reading. King James. King James. You okay. never seen All that. I want to do is straight can I show it to you real quick? The fact that you told me. Can I show it to you real quick? I don't is care. At, at this point, at this point, you're probably a Jehovah Witness or something or no, some crazy I'm Hebrew, thing. Israelite. I'm Hebrew. Jesus is Hebrew. Jesus is Hebrew, but Jesus Hebrew is, is not alive. black. Jesus is not white. Yeah. Jesus is spirit, He's a man. Nigga. Do you think Jesus is alive right now with a skin color? The Jews went. He's up there, right, with no skin color. <laughs> that means he loves Are you. Are you gonna let me speak? Can I speak? You're speaking a bunch of hate speech. The Jews went to. So I thought they could have an intelligent conversation. I by way of slave ships. That's in the Deuteronomy 28. You got your 1700 the mixed up with with forever stuff. That's not going to do you any good. But I'm Can you even let me read it to because you? Because it's not right. The real Jews went into slavery by slave ship. These signs and wonders are upon the chosen people. When did this, you know who when the did real black Jews slavery are? start? When did black slavery start? Uh, a little 400 years ago. Okay. When was Jesus around? I think his stuff was around way long before you guys yeah, were doing thousands this stuff. Of years. He, he preceded us. He went before us. To right. Prosper so our if way. that's the case, why are you? Copying and pasting something that's happened 400 years ago to make sense out of it's something. Bible, that's, though. It's the Bible, though. The Bible was 2,000 years ago. Black Jesus traitor. Christ is the savior of the niggas. He's the king nigger. First of all, you shouldn't say nigger. He's the king even to nigger. me, you he, shouldn't he even hates say you. that. He's coming back to destroy God your ass. You, man, he wrong. hates you. He's going to destroy you. He's going to splatter you up. His white garment will be dyed red by your blood. You damn devil. Eat him, the damn devil. You ain't gonna trick me, devil. Blood of Jesus, y'all. These devils under our feet, man.
They don't want the truth. They don't want no black Messiah. They don't want us to know he's black. So he asked a question, but he didn't want the answer. And he didn't like the answer. He didn't want me to be 100. Well, that's a hard pill for you Edomites to swallow. Too bad. We're going to help you swallow it. We're going to help you drink that whole cup. Uh-huh. Terror. God's wrath is upon you, Edomites. Drink that cup. Drink it down to the dreads. It's fury. And it's terror, man. Drink it. Every drop. Right? And you're not going to be able to spit it up, man. You're not going to be able to spit it up. The Lord's coming for you, Edom. He's coming for you, and it's, it's not going to be sweet. All bitter, man. All bitter. And you won't be able to spit it up. You won't be able to escape. Right? Your worst nightmare, Edom, is, is coming. It's coming to pass. It's manifesting. Right? And his elect are, are the preview. We're the preview to what you're going to get, man. Huh? And there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing your kings can do about it. Your presidents, your CIA, your FBI, your Ku Klux Klan, your government. Nothing you can do. Nothing you need a mice can do. <laughs> but drink it. Drink it. And get drunk. All right, with this truth, man, it's going to get worse for you, right? As the days go by, as the hours pass, as the minutes pass, and the seconds, the terror is going to increase upon you, right? The fear and the dread is going to increase, right? These are the beginnings of your sorrows. You're just getting a taste of it now. All right? You're going to get a double portion. And you won't be able to spit it up. You don't get a... I disagree with your shirt. Her shirt said love is the most... She don't know nothing about no love. I'm going to tell you something about that. She said love is the most powerful. Love is, is great. I get that. Remember God loved Israel? But was that enough? They said God so loved the world. It wasn't enough. What did he have to do? He had to give righteousness and judgment. Righteous judgment. That's what he had to give. So love by itself is not enough. It's that righteous judgment, man. And you Christians and you Hebrew Israelites need to understand this. Righteous judgment. <laughs> Righteous judgment. Righteous judgment. John 7, 24. You better learn righteous judgment. You're not going to see Jesus face none of you until you learn righteous judgment. The Bible says judge not by appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Righteous judgment. That's entering into Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. He came to judge the world with his righteousness, man. Is that Psalms 96, that last verse? I believe it's 13. He would judge the world with his righteousness, man. With his righteousness. Okay? That's what he came to give us. Hebrew Israelites, that's what we lacked. That one thing, when Jesus was telling that rich young ruler, one thing you lack of, he didn't have righteousness, man. He didn't have the Lord's righteousness. He was doing the law, you Hebrew Israelites. You were doing the law, Mosaic law. You were doing the law. Your ancestors were doing the law. But when you get to Isaiah 64, 6, it said our righteousness was what? As filthy rags. Our righteousness was as filthy rags. That's why we were in need of a Savior. We need God's righteousness. God's righteous, what? Judgments. <laughs> His righteous judgment, John 7, 24. That's what saves us. That's what Jesus came to give. That's what makes the difference. You can't keep no laws to you. The laws is his righteous judgment. That's what we got to keep. Righteous judgment. 
You're a preacher, right? You're a pastor, right? You're a pastor? How uh, you dressed like it? When I get a conversation. And uh, that's the difference maker right there. That's why it says your righteousness has exceeded the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. They had that. They were doing the law and all of that. That's uh, Matthew 5, 20. They were doing that. They were so-called keeping the law. But they were in the flesh, man. They were in the flesh. Jesus came to give us what? The circumcision of my heart. The, his spiritual life. He came to give us what? A divine nature. Second Peter, what is it? 2, 4. The divine nature, man. The divine nature. So we got to de uh, the A natural man got to decrease through Christ. What? Death, burn, resurrection life. We got to be baptized in this way. He said, are you able to be baptized with my baptism? Are you able to drink the cup that I drank? What? That, that's the Matthew 20, 20. Matthew 20 through the, uh, it goes down to like 24, verse 24. You got to be baptized with Jesus' baptism. And don't say you don't need to be baptized, that water baptism, because John the Baptist didn't want to do it. Jesus said, this is fulfilling righteousness. When you get to uh, Matthew 3, he said, baptize me, John. But this, this is a, we, we must uh, fulfill all righteousness. So the baptism, water baptism is a fulfillment of, the, of his righteousness. That's part of it. These are steps, man. These are steps. Because uh, Acts 2.30, they said, repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's part of you get uh, obedience. Did you get the Holy Ghost? That's why in uh, Acts 5, it said he gave the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. What are you looking for you to do? Hit that water baptism. Mark 16, 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Mark 16, 16. He that believeth not shall be damned. All right? Jesus Christ is our righteousness, man. That's how you, the Holy Ghost is, reveals his righteousness. In uh, Romans 1, 17, from faith to faith, uh, uh, this leads us into his righteousness. Let me, let me read that before we bounce, y'all. Let me read one more. Let me read that Romans 1, 17 real quick. Okay, uh, I'm having fun. I really don't want to leave, but Romans 1. But I'm going to get y'all little by little. It says, For then the righteousness of God, check it out, is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. And that faith is the gift of God. We, we didn't have faith. And uh, Deuteronomy, what is it, 32, 20, watch this. That's, this is why he uprooted us out of the land, man. He uprooted us from the law, right, to uh, rebuild us in the faith. That's why Jesus got to become our root. Old Testament, Jesus was not our root. Under the law of our ancestors, that old covenant, Jesus Christ was not our root, right? That's why he's the root of David. When he, through his death, burial, and resurrection, he's the root of David. Ah, oh, so many scriptures is hitting me now, man. That's why uh, it said, uh, Jacob shall take root downward and bear fruit upward. Okay. 2 Kings 19, verse 30 and 31. Jacob will take root downward and bear fruit up. That's Jesus Christ taking root of him. That's your Romans uh, 11, man. The elect got to take root. That's that being engrafted into Christ as our root. That's that Romans 11, man. Uh, Y'all stay with King Superman videos for the pure truth. Tell strangers, neighbors, uh, loved ones, you know. Point them to these videos, man, so they can be edified and grow. You know, we a body, man. I need you and you need me. We need one another, right? Uh, we need one another, man. What did I say I was going? Oh yeah, Romans. Let me get that. Let me get that. Did I read that? I read that Romans 117. 
But the faith is uh, Revelation 14, 12. It's called the faith of Jesus. There's one faith, man. Let's get this right, Hebrew Israelites. And until you humble yourself and, and look and see Jesus, as Moses lifted up the serpent, see Jesus highly exalted, you're not going to get his faith. Faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God, the voice of Jesus, man. Even Moses said, uh, God shall raise up a prophet from among the brethren. Him shall ye hear. Every soul that uh, refuses to hear him, that hears him not, shall perish, man. Shall die. You know, shall be cut off from his people. So Jesus Christ is the, the faith, the gift, man, of faith. Man. Let's get that. Uh, I'm going to break this down, man, the right way. Ephesians 2. Let me go to Ephesians 2.8. Let's go to Ephesians 2 8. It says, For by grace are you saved. See that? Grace. Jesus brought grace, man. Moses brought us the law. This tells us that in what? Uh, John 1? I believe like verse 17, something like that. 17, 18. Moses brought the law. Jesus brought what? Grace and truth. So you can't say you have this without Jesus. And another thing. You claim that not to be under the new covenant, you Hebrew Israelites. So that means you're not under the blood. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. So you can't have grace. The blood, the grace is in the blood. Life is in the blood. Life of the flesh is in the blood. Uh, Ephesians 1 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Jesus is the faith, man. Jesus is the gift of God. Right? Let me read one more to you. I'm going to read one more. I'll probably bounce after this. Because I don't want to do... Uh, a lot I want to give out, but I can't get it all in one day. Romans uh, 6. Watch this. 23. Let's go there. 